Okay, so you've connected your bank accounts to QuickBooks and downloaded 90 days worth of transactions. Now what? The downloaded transactions aren't actually entered into your QuickBooks yet. You have to help QuickBooks categorize these transactions, then approve them to enter them into QuickBooks. QuickBooks tries to help by checking to see if it recognizes any transactions. These might be purchases you already entered as expenses or checks or payments you've received. If QuickBooks finds one of these, it marks that transaction as matched. You'll look at it to make sure QuickBooks got it right, then accept it as a match. QuickBooks also recognizes transactions you categorized and approved last time you worked with this account. It repeats whatever action you did before and turns the category green. If QuickBooks got the transaction right, click Add to accept it. You won't see any green the first time you work with transactions, but look for it next time and the time after that. When QuickBooks doesn't recognize a transaction, it takes a guess. The guess category is gray. If you agree with QuickBooks, great. If not, you can recategorize the transaction. So how do you categorize transactions? Let's get started. First, click the category or match column to sort the transactions. Click the name of the first transaction to open it. You've got some choices to make here. If you agree with how QuickBooks categorized this transaction, leave it. To put this transaction in a different category, open the menu and choose the right category. Next, enter the payee, the person you paid with this transaction. If you don't want QuickBooks to categorize transactions from this payee the same way again, you can edit the settings to make it happen. Is this transaction new to your QuickBooks? You've never entered it as an expense or a check or anything else? Then click Add. You're done with this transaction. Did you pay on a business credit card or make a loan payment with this transaction? In that case, choose Transfer to record that the money went to another account in your QuickBooks. Choose the account you paid this money to and click Transfer. What if you spent money but you bought stuff from more than one category, like a purchase at an office supply store that included a new laptop, printer paper, and toner? In this case, click Split, then choose the appropriate categories and how much you spent on each. Now let's say QB categorized a bunch of transactions and you agree with its categorization. Click one checkbox, hold down the Shift key, choose the final one in the list that you want to choose, open Batch Actions, and choose Accept. Yay, they're all done! Oops! What if you made a mistake and categorized a transaction wrong? No problem! Click the In QuickBooks tab, choose the transaction, and undo it. It goes back to New Transactions, so you can put it where it belongs. Phew! That's a lot of work. But the good news is that you've taught QuickBooks a lot about your business. Next time you download transactions, QuickBooks makes more matches and better suggestions for categories and payees for your business. When you see green matches, you can choose them in batches and accept them all at once. You'll spend much less time on bookkeeping and more time running your business. Now it's your turn. Get started categorizing and adding some of your own transactions today.